back in, say, the 70s and the 80s. But it seems like a lot of our education system has gotten away from teaching very basic skills that can be used in order to create a business. That's true. So it seems like we've definitely got to find ways to get uh, more folks involved, like April was saying, and it might be that it's done more on the local level and everything. And it also seems like, if I'm hearing y'all correctly, is that um, if a box store wants to hire y'all and get the items, like I said, we joked earlier about putting items in Mars, but if the box store wants to have some of your um, oxtails in their uh, large grocery stores or if they want to have some of your cakes in their large grocery stores, I don't think that any one of you three ladies are going to be arguing if they close, well, close to shut down. But if Food Line comes calling or Harris Cedar comes calling and says, we want these items from Three Holland Sisters in our, um, not just our restaurant, but in our major food chain, it seems to me that if y'all need that deal, y'all will gladly take it. Sure will. Absolutely. <laughs> so we're putting that out there, Dean. The three Harlem sisters want a grocery store deal. Okay. Hey, ain't nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with nothing we'll wrong. Put, we'll put that out in the universe. So, um, Albert, if you're still on the phone, if you know anybody that's got property that's in the grocery store, tell them that the three Harlem sisters are looking forward to getting into that grocery store after you sell them the property. I will do that. I will do that. <laughs> Amen. That is good. That's what it's all about is the yeah. networking. So maybe Albert is going to create some real estate business deal with one of them fancy malls or something that's going to have a grocery store in it, and then you can go and say, look, my sister is involved in Three Holland Sisters with her two longtime uh, sister friends and everything, so you need to put this particular product in the grocery store after I finish this deal. Does this sound like a plan to you, Albert? That sounds like a plan. I will do anything I can to help these women. Sounds great. So it Thank sounds like you. they got strong support behind them and everything. So it sounds like they would definitely be going on and doing some great things with the business. So it definitely sounds like it's going to be a tremendous success. I'm going to have to find a way to get up to New York. I know February is usually a very busy month at our cultural arts center and everything. So I don't know that I'll be at the grand opening. But sometime in 2019, I have to find a way to get to New York to one of these events that y'all are planning so that I can enjoy some of this fine food because I am a – um, definitely a dessert scene. I probably eat way too much dessert and everything. And I, <laughs> like I said earlier, I'm very much into oxtails and uh, some of those other dishes that you mentioned that are from the Caribbean islands. Because even though I was born in North Carolina, for whatever reasons, I've always had a taste for that kind of Caribbean flavored food. So I'm definitely looking forward to enjoying both of your meals at some point and uh, finding out what this fine cooking is all about since I'm tired of uh, Dean telling me about all this great cooking that he's hearing from the folks that are involved in his life, so I need to actually sample some of it. Well, whenever you're ready, you just let me know, and I'll make sure you have them, those oxtails, some jerk chicken, some curry chicken, rice and peas, whatever you want. I got you. All right, Same here. Good. You let me I'm know. Looking forward. Tennis, chicken, pork, vegetables, however you want them, pastelillos, you let, let us know. <laughs> I will definitely let you know. Now, one of the other things, that, um, as we're winding down the show and everything, we were talking about things that were missed from Harlem and everything, and, and you mentioned several events, but I was wondering, do you think that the parades are still as popular as they used to be? Because I remember there was a time, and I know y'all still have them, but I don't know that they're as well attended as they used to be when there was a lot of these ethnic pride parades. Like, there was, I think there was a big Caribbean parade. I know there was a big Puerto Rican parade and a lot of those. But I was wondering, do those parades still go on, and are they still as popular as they used to be, because there was a time that those were so popular that you hear about them even on the news down here. I don't think any of them are that as popular as they used to be, honestly. Because there's so still, much. It's, it's not about family and fun no more. Everything is it's just dangerous now. So it's just, you know, and then the cops are, they shut everything down. You can't really do the things that you're used to doing there. So I don't, to me, I don't think any of them are that popular because now I can forget about them until I hear them talk about, oh, that was the day. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Okay, they're not the same. They're just still around. <laughs> So they're still around, but they don't have the same kind of popularity and they don't have the same kind of energy that they used to have. So who knows? Maybe three Harlem sisters, people can help bring them back to the way that they used to be with some of the events that y'all are planning. So maybe y'all can get together. We're willing to try. 
<laughs> big event planning. I find a way to bring those big events back to the way that they used to be back in the 80s. So this could be another mission of Three Holland Sisters is to find ways to bring back some of that old energy and, like you said earlier, show it to the uh, grandkids and to the kids and so that they can have that flavor that y'all had when y'all were growing up. Mm-hmm. Amen. That's exactly what we're that's willing to do it. We're willing to do it. So we've heard that they're willing to go to Mars. We've heard that they're willing to bring back the historical <laughs> ethnic parade. Sounds like they're just willing to do everything that's out there. Um, there is one catering gig that I think we might have to have you turn down, though, because um, we talk bad about him all the time on the show and everything. So unless he's willing to pay double or maybe Trump. If you're going to say Trump, don't think I'm, I'm out. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Because if he calls... Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. Yeah, because... That might be no Harlem Sisters at that. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I missed that one. Yeah, if he calls you once again, um, you have to tell him that it's got to be at least... um, Albert, what are you thinking? A hundred times more than the usual price? Uh, I don't know. You might lose your base audience if you go that route. <laughs> Every dollar is we not a good dollar. We might lose a bunch of people. <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't to cater even a funeral. If you you always want your business before. to have integrity. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, so uh, I think that's just one of those where you just say, that's okay, thanks, but no thanks. So there are <laughs> yeah. occasional things that you might have to say, thanks, but no thanks, and that might be one of those that you're like, no, that's okay. Um, you'll have to go to one of them <laughs> folks in the, the towers or one of your um, <laughs> right. things, but we're not taking that one. Yeah, we would have exactly. to probably sit at the round table and think hard on this one, guys, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I missed that one. What were we declining? Trump. Um, uh, Trump. <laughs> oh, oh, forty-five. That's a question. That's that's it, it. Automatically reject. You know, like if they were to try, our system will reject it automatically. Like, oh, bad, bad, bad. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make it so awesome. So the system will have like a little code, and as soon as forty-five comes up, it's like automatic rejection. Yeah. Forty-five. Who? Forty-five. <laughs> Even if you give so, you a bit, it'll reject your card. Deny. Deny. <laughs> no work with Trump. None. <laughs> we are good. So that, so that was not happening at all. We know that the, the, the trip tomorrow can happen, but if the person currently sitting in the White House wants it, that's not happening. So we've learned now. What... I don't know because April didn't say anything, so she might be willing to do it. Wait a minute. No, I said four, four five, five, five is a no no. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I okay. said it. Yeah. We can't, we look, we can't do him. <laughs> we'll say, oh, we go to business. <laughs> That'll shut us down before we start. Well, I tell you this, you won't get work anywhere else. That's for sure. <laughs> that was that, that was like we won't get all his people. We won't get work nowhere else. We wouldn't even be able to use three Harlem sisters because they wouldn't want us to Harlem no more. Oh man, that's so bad. So if you're saying that you can Harlem, take our Harlem card. Yeah, they take the Harlem card from us. Oh man! I've heard people taking the I've heard people taking the black card, but you say they go take the Harlem card from you. So it's like the black card. They are gonna take the Harlem card. So you would say that anybody that as soon as y'all walk through Harlem, they are gonna be like, oh no, y'all serve that person. Yeah, they not they not taking us. They they not they go, they not having us no more. They, they'll be like, you serve that person. They're, they're, they're not gonna like mention you by name. It's gonna be like you serve that person. Yeah. Yes, I, I don't even put put nothing behind me or in front of me. <laughs> He's not worthy of it. Nope. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right about that. So we know that that is one that the business will not be trying to get to anytime soon. There are some other ones that y'all might be trying to deal with, but definitely not that one. So, um, Mars first. Had, <laughs> if you each had your ideal. Customer, who would that be? 
get it back to the more serious topic. So each mm-hmm. one of you, if you, if you, if your ideal customer, who would that be? Because like if somebody's listening, and they, you, as you describe them, they might be like, "That's me." So for both of you, who is your ideal customer? All three of you. I'm sorry. Number forty-four. Mm-hmm. Number 44, that's a good one. So that would be a great customer that is 44, and Michelle called you. You're down for them yeah. coming on and doing work for them because that's an ideal customer. Yeah. So what about the other two? Who's another ideal customer? I think I would take Ellen. Oh, oh. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, Ellen one. is good. Ooh, I would yes. take Ellen. I, I okay. Take Ellen. Uh, I think Ellen is a good one. Um, I personally, because I, I like Oprah a lot because of all that she's done, I would like her because she's a very humble person, and I could see her giving us a chance, too. So that's who I would go with. Mm-hmm. Sounds great. So, um, now, the other thing that I know can be a death knoll or something that businesses, particularly food businesses, are sometimes worried about it and everything, is one, when you do your grand opening, have you invited the local critics, and are you prepared for whatever they're going to say? Because I know a lot of times your critics can be vicious. Uh, yeah, we are because we're going to have a suggestion box. So we are inviting people to give us feedback. So it, it will be available to those that are there to give okay, us feedback so- on um, – you know, the event that night, uh, what they see, how the taste of the food, uh, you know, the tastings that they'll have, uh, the actual um, decorations. We want them to give us comment on all things because this is what's going to make us grow and become stronger as a business. Makes sense. I welcome all feedback. I take everything. There's no nothing you can tell me about my food that I would take personal. I would. I love for that. I want honesty. That's what I want. Same here. It sounds what wonderful. You want what I can do better. And that's always good. We, we get feedback as to how things will be made better and everything. Now, before we get off the line, because I just looked at the phone and I think we got about two or three minutes to go and everything. But I haven't heard from the guys. So, Dean and Albert. What is y'all's go-to dishes from these ladies? So we heard that there's some amazing food that goes on, so I need to know what y'all like to eat from the baker and the caterer. So you got to have some go-to dishes? Uh, yes. Well, um, for me, with Tamisha, it's uh, either the fried whiting or the grilled shrimp. Uh, from Janice, um, it is the... Um, she baked a cake for my sister's birthday in 2017, it was one of the best cakes I ever had. And oh, even on the design yeah. side, my my sister has showed me some sneakers that April designed, and they were amazing. So they are just overall talented women. Appreciate it. Yeah. Well, you know what? We're coming up on the end of this. I like anything cooked. How about that? So, you know, <laughs> as long as it's cooked, and they cook it well. So with that, this fat dude is going to eat. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> we, we we greatly appreciate you, Alba, for calling. Uh, Janice, Tamisha, okay. and April, we thank you for rolling with us tonight. Um, three Holler Sisters, y'all. It. Make sure that y'all yes. check them out. And yes. since we rolling it all the way down... <laughs> I'm going to close out with this thing right here. Like I always say, when you walk outside your front door, it's showtime and the world is your stage. Just make sure that people are not watching the rehearsal. We welcome all our listeners from Alaska, nationwide and worldwide. This is the last live show of 2018. You can catch us on the 24th and on the 31st. Those will be replays. We'll be back in 2019. It's straight talk. With Dean and Mark, it's the Six Man Dean Geronimo. Happy holidays, happy New Year, and I'm out. And just nice. along those same lines, I definitely want to thank the three ladies for being on the show. It was amazing having them. I've of course heard the background from uh, 
Jean, and now I've heard about two of her amazing sisters as well. So it was great having all three of them on the show, along with uh, Albert popping in as well, and Dean being there. So we've got some amazing guests that will be on our show next year. I've already lined it up to people. We've got some political types and activist types from around here in Durham. We've got some boys.